Did Mars just catch our interstellar visitor on camera? 3i Atlas skimmed past Mars on October 3rd. Here's what we actually know. Give me 60 seconds and you'll get the status from Mars, the weird new chemistry result, and what's next. Closest approach to Mars was about 30 million kilometers. As of now, there are no official public images or spectra from Mars orbit. Mars Express and ExoMars TGO planned observations, but space data usually needs calibration before release. So we're waiting on the first products. From Mars's vantage point, scientists are trying to measure gas chemistry, CN, C2, CO2, and water-related species, track dust behavior, and see how the solar wind sculpts an interstellar coma and tail. Even non-detections set useful limits. Meanwhile, Earth-based spectra from ESO's Very Large Telescope report strong neutral nickel lines but little or no neutral iron, implying a high nickel to iron ratio. That's odd because comets are cold. One idea is that fragile metal carbon molecules such as nickel and iron carbonyls break apart in sunlight and release nickel gas more readily than iron, with the Ni slash Fe ratio changing as the comet's distance from the sun changes. If that nickel-heavy signature holds, it's a chemical fingerprint of how comets form in other star systems, insight we almost never get. Next steps, watch for the Mars orbiter data from the October 1st to 7th window and a potential follow-up look by ESA's JUICE in November if geometry cooperates. JWST and Hubble analyses may follow. I'll pin updates the moment agencies post them. Save this.